G'day mates, welcome back. So, um, I've finished pretty much the uh, 156 uh, Panzer IV, which I've uh, been working on for the last couple of weeks. And um, <clears throat> I've just got a few finishing touches to do on it. And uh, then I'll have a reveal video on it. I've finished off the painting... Uh, I put the mesh shirts and on. I didn't film it because I knew it was going to be a pig and it was a pig. And there was lots of swearing, lots of effing, lots of jeffing. And uh, I put it on the wrong way up, put it on upside down first of all. Super glue wasn't holding it. It was coming off every time I picked it up. But anyway, you know, that's par for the course for me. So... This is what I'm going to start on next. I've got a taste for these smaller scale ones now. And uh, I've already built a Bandai Stug, which is uh, over on the shelf. So I thought I'd start with this 148 King Tiger. This is from about 1975. Yes, you young chaps will have to look back in the history books for that. But I remember 1975. <clears throat> and uh, this is um, King Tiger as I said it's got three crew but my god I've had a look at them and they are dreadful so I won't be using them yeah, you can see on the side this is an accurate 148 scale model of the King Tiger this is the first mini model series that has detailed interior with engine and cockpit Yep, complete instructions are uh, enclosed. Also included is the historical summary of the vehicle. Panzer Grey, I don't know if they were in Panzer Grey. Maybe early on, I don't know. I'll have to have a look at some pictures. Anyway, let's have a look what's in the box. Open her up, it's a bit tatty, as you'd expect from 1975. These are some of the other stuff they do. Look at that. I'm going to try and look out for that. That's the Stug that I built. The Ad Panzer, I've seen that, but they're about 40 odd quid. Uh, what have I got over? I've got a Panzer IV, Alsferung H, a Mobile Wagen Flat Panzer, an M4A175 mil Sherman. These are all Bandai's, German 88mm flak, and I've got another Stug 3G, and one on the bottom that is actually all in Japanese or Korean, and I can't see what it is, and I can't remember what it is, but anyway, I've got quite a few Bandai's over there on the stash. Alright. So these are the destructions, as you can see. Oldie worldy black and white picture. Turn it over. You got the standard uh, sprue list. One, two, three, four, five. The sprue with the little horrible figures and your bathtub lower hole. You get all the 88 mil shells, but look at the detail on the engine. Look at how many parts there are on it. And that's what it builds up as. Pretty good, I reckon. So let's assemble the engine first off. Part two is road wheels, which will be there. You've got all the 88mm shells that go in. You've got the um, transmission, I assume, there. The, the cruise chairs, the floor. A couple of uh, jerry cans. <coughs> uh, that's assembling of the back. The back panel. And then you've got the interior of the turret. 
which is quite detailed really for something from 1975 lots of parts there's all the shell rack with all the shells there's the rest of the turret with the uh, gun breech if we turn it over there's only nine steps there's the uh, turret we can have the hatches open depending on what you want Obviously, if they're all that interior malarkey, you're going to want to see it. Two-piece barrel, as expected. Some more uh, storage and that on the inside of the turret. And that's it, pretty much. Bob's your mum's brother. Finish off the upper hull with the tools. And it's even got the cable in for the light, which a lot of kits don't have. I found that brilliant and obviously rubber band tracks and there's your little toy soldiers there which I won't be using there we go uh, do you think they spelled that how they say it that was quite funny just showing you how to set up and take pictures of a diorama right and don't laugh at these these are your tracks that's what I've got I can make something out of them obviously it won't be perfect but I can make something out of that Rubber bands. Here's your lower hull. Torsion bar suspension already in place. These swing arms already in place. A little Bandai logo on the bottom. It's got the interlocking welds on the plates, which is pretty good. There's the turret, nice weld seams, but it's as flat as a pancake. So I might put a little bit of texture on there. And again, it's got some decent interlocking welds. Some nice weld seams on the top. There's the uh, underside of the turret. The upper hole, side skirts already on. There, there I was talking about the cabling for the front light, which is pretty good, I reckon. Nice little bit of detail in there. You can see I haven't even had this out of the bag. This is all still sealed, mate. The decals look like they've got yellow jaundice, but we can see what we can do with them. There you go. First time these have been out in uh, quite a few years. Oh yeah, they are. Rough as a bear's ass, as we say. Really thick cardboard. Don't even know if they're going to work. I might have to... It's got all the uh, division insignia there. Can't really see it much. I'll have to look into that, see if I can get some 148 decals. So these are all the road wheels. Standard stuff. That's pretty good. There's no flash on it. No flash at all, mate. There's the back, standard stuff. And we've got idlers, 
Brook it. A little bit of internal business there. Engine stuff. There's your transmission. More engine stuff there, I think. Yes, okay. Oh, a couple of bits come off in the bag there. Hopefully I've got everything. Oh, still sealed. 1975, I think this kit's from. I was 12 years old. There's a few more bits to come out. Inside, I can throw that away now. So there's your jerry cans. <laughs> Look at them. That's pretty decent, I reckon. That's pretty decent. There's your 88s. All in a row. Cables, pretty good. Bit of hatch action there. More hatches. Front plate, there's your jack. It's a exhaust pipes. Turret ring. There's another bit come off. And there's your back plate, the flo internal floor. Some tools there. There's your shovel. Yeah, towing hooks there. The light. C hooks. That's all right, I think. Pretty decent, not bad at all. I haven't seen a turret MG, although it shows it on the box art. There's a rifle there. I don't know if they're <laughs> expecting that to be uh, the turret MG, but that's not going to happen. There's another rifle there. Just take a load of these figures, though. Wow, that's horrible. That is horrible, mate. Not nice at all. <laughs> toy soldier, definitely a toy soldier. That, my friend. E And there's matey boy standing with his binoculars. Again, horrific. And there's a uh, old Hans, the driver, with his headphones on. Again, horrific, won't be being used. So, barring the decals, which I don't even think they're going to come off. That is so thick. I'll have a go anyway. But barring that, I think it's a pretty decent looking kit. Considering how old it is. 1975, as I keep saying. And there you go. So that's what I'm going to be starting on next. So, look out for some build videos coming up. Take it easy, guys. Model on.